Hello YouTube, my name is Eclipse, and today we have a very formal commentary. But I'm just kidding, I ain't gonna talk like that because that right there would make for one boring video. But today, as you can all tell from the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be going over a brand new set of balance changes coming to Clash Royale. So on March 13th, which is three days from when I'm recording this video, we're gonna be getting quite a few new changes. So today, I'm just gonna go over everything, give you guys my thoughts and from there we're just gonna have to wait and see how everything plays out now I'm going to try and be pretty straightforward in this video so with that taken care of let's begin the first troop being affected is the executioner and they are adding 10% to his radius and if you're reading the description it says we're returning some of his former glory his original lane control power to compensate for the upcoming bug fixes and if you click the link right here it actually takes you over to the supercell forums and now I'm I'm just gonna read you some of the bugs going on with the executioner so the first one it says enemy troop attack animation resets by his axe so that's pretty much saying whenever his axe hits someone the troop kind of gets stunned like a zap spell basically they're gonna be removing that so they're adding range to compensate for that after that it says damaging troops that are behind him with his axe then throwing his axe out of the arena and finally one tick of damage happens in front of him when his axe is fully extended so they're pretty much fixing all of those bugs and then they're adding 10% range so that way he isn't totally useless and the executioner stun does definitely piss me off and now that they're adding his range back is he still going to be annoying or is he just going to kind of play like a regular troop now after him we have a change coming to the log and they're taking 4% of damage away from this and they're reducing the range to 11.1 from 11.6 I run the log in nearly all of my decks and 4% damage doesn't really seem like a lot and the fact that they're they're removing half a tile that doesn't seem too significant either I mean sure that may be game breaking in some plays but overall I don't think this change is gonna make too big of a deal next up we have a change coming to arrows and they're actually increasing the projectile speed by 33% and the reason they're doing this is because if someone puts a minion horde on a giant by the time the arrows hit the minion horde the giants pretty much already dead so essentially they're making the arrows travel faster that way if someone uses minion hordes on a giant the giant will survive longer That's pretty much like the general idea But of course the arrows are gonna have a lot more uses as of now after that though We have a change coming to the clone spell personally I never use this card But after this I may have to start and whenever you clone something It's no longer going to reset the charges So right now if you put a clone spell on a sparky he is gonna reset But after this update if you put a clone spell on a sparky the original original one is gonna still shoot when it's supposed to so if you clone a sparky as soon as it's about to shoot that can pretty much be game over for your opponent and the same thing goes for princes if you clone a prince as he's charging a tower he will still run into that tower going full speed will the clone spell be used after this update I'm not too sure I mean the spell in general isn't used that often but if someone can learn to master the clone spell there is no doubt that this can easily become one of the most overwhelming overpowered spells in the game now after the clone spell we have a change coming to the bomb tower and the bomb tower is a pain in the ass to deal with but they're making this thing throw 66% faster essentially this thing is gonna be out there throwing bomb after bomb after bomb and it's gonna be going off the bomb tower alone is already good like it has a lot of hit points it can withstand a lot and the fact that it's gonna be throwing 66% faster that's kind of scaring me a bit I may start running this in some of my decks but we're just gonna have to wait and see I mean the bomb tower against the royal giant that may be like an effective counter I mean if this thing is chucking bombs like Usain Bolt out there this may become like one of the best defenses in the game now after that we have a change coming to the electro wizard and he no longer does permanent stun damage so what that means is if the electro wizard stuns a bowler as the bowler is about to throw once the stun wears off the bowler will continue from where it left off now I'll give you another example just in case that didn't make sense so let's say a baby dragon is about to blow a fireball if the electro wizard stuns it as soon as the stun wears off the baby dragon will continue from where it left off now in the current state of clash royale if an electro wizard like stuns a bowler he's gonna completely restart his animation but after this update he's just gonna continue from where he left off hopefully that makes sense and as far as troops like sparky the inferno dragon and the inferno Inferno Tower goes if the Electro Wizard does hit that
that troop, it will reset the charge on that. And finally, we have the change coming to the tornado, and it says the tornado can be placed on top of buildings. I really don't understand this one too much. Like, I've never tried to place a tornado on a building. I didn't even know, like, you weren't allowed to. So is this change really significant? Maybe not too much. I mean, it's never really affected me. Maybe some of you guys have dealt with this before. So if this is an issue for you, I mean, I guess that's good. But personally, I don't think this one is too big of a deal. Now, those are all of the balance changes we will be talking about in this video. Remember, these are coming out on March 13th, so that is like three days depending on when you're watching this. My overall impressions on this, I'm pretty happy. I mean, a lot of these changes aren't going to affect me too much, so that's pretty good. And I can still continue using the decks that I'm using. So again, that's another major bonus. But I want to hear from you guys. So please, down in the comment section below, let me know how this is going to affect you. Are you going to have to change your deck up? Can you still use your deck and is this like going to affect you at all because like I said I'm pretty happy with everything here and nothing really pisses me off so I'm pretty excited and I can't wait for this to come out so guys this has been Eclipse thank you all for watching the video and peace out